Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Hey, wouldn't it be great to be able to send a contact or lead you have a shipment of brownies or a laser etched barbecue set or even just a gift card right from Gmail or right from your phone with just a few taps? Super easy to set up. We're just gonna connect Google Contacts to Mailbox Power and this is gonna work. Let me show you how. First thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com and there you're gonna click Discover Connections. There's gonna be a ton of different apps here, real estate, marketing, productivity apps. You can search around and see if there's anything else you're using that you could be automating. But I'm gonna go ahead and choose Google Contacts. Google Contacts is the contact manager for most Android phones. You can use it as a contact manager on iPhones and it's also what you use to manage your contacts in Gmail. So everybody is in here mostly. I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna set up a sync between Google Contacts and Mailbox Power. If you're not familiar with Mailbox Power, you can send a lot of awesome things through them. You can send gift cards, you can send laser engraved gifts, you can even send brownies, which are amazing. You have their name put on it with a sticker, it's great. Let's make this connection. So I'm gonna sync my Google Contacts to Mailbox Power, I'm gonna hit activate. And the first step is to sign up for an API Nation account. If you don't have one, just click this link at the top. If you have one, go ahead and sign in. Or if you have a Google account, you can sign in with that Google account. I'm gonna do that. All right, and now I'm gonna connect my Google account. I'm gonna hit this button and choose which Google account I wanna send contacts from. I'm gonna use my professional account here and allow. Great, now we're gonna connect Mailbox Power. So I've already signed up for a Mailbox Power account. I've even signed into Mailbox Power. So when I get to this step, all I have to do is click this link. It's gonna take me right to my Mailbox Power account and it's gonna take me to the API key I need. I'm gonna hit copy, go back to API Nation and paste it in there. I also need to label this connection. So you can name this after you or your company or your team if you'd like. This is just in case you're managing multiple Mailbox Power accounts so you can keep them separate. All right, great. So now we're gonna set up the sync. You can see we're sending people from Google Contacts from default, which is basically anybody I add to Google Contacts, to Mailbox Power, again, default. So they'll just live in Mailbox Power. I can hop into Mailbox Power and add them to an automation if I want or just send them a shipment. This is the default way it's kind of set up. This looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and sit subscribe and it's gonna create this sync. Once the sync is created, I'm gonna do one more check. And actually, I just got an idea. Let's, instead of just sending over default into default, let's go ahead and set up a group in Google Contacts for an automation. So I'm gonna hop into Google Contacts, come over here to labels, and I'm gonna create a label. I'm gonna call it brownies. So everybody I label with brownies they're gonna get dropped into a mailbox power automation and get a shipment of brownies. So you can see it's gonna be as easy as labeling a contact. I can do it from my phone, I can do it in Gmail, and once I label them, I'll know they're gonna get that item. So once I set up that label, I'm gonna refresh this. I'm gonna find that label, brownies, perfect. Boop. So we've selected the brownies group. We're gonna send them over to Mailbox Power and actually I've already set up an automation in Mailbox Power for brownies. So I'm gonna drop them in that group which is also enrolled into that automation. If I wanted to do some further filtering, maybe I only wanna send this to people from a particular country or a particular zip code, I could do that here. Maybe I only wanna send it to people who live in the zip code 92110. I could do that, that's definitely an option. But I'm, I'm good with the filters. I think this is exactly what I want. I'm just gonna label them. They're gonna get added to Mailbox Power and they're gonna get put on an automation. Here's all the information that's coming over, first name, last name. This is all mapping. We do most of this for you. If there's anything else you wanna add. Date of birth is a great idea. That way you can set them up for a birthday automation. And let's go to the top and activate this sync. There we go, the sync is now up and running. Now if I have an email in Gmail, let's say I got this email from Seth Godin, he's a well-known marketer, but you know, I wanna thank Seth, so I can just hit add Seth to contacts, and then I'm gonna edit Seth in contacts, and I'm just gonna label him brownies. 
I'd want to make sure I also have Seth's address so that it'll go over to Mailbox Power. But that's it. All I'm doing is tagging him with brownies. And now I can get back to Gmail, continue with my work, knowing I've just sent Seth a shipment of brownies. And it's going to grow our relationship. We're going to be able to put some deals together. It's a really neat way to stand out in your client's mind. So that's it. That's how you sync Google contacts to Mailbox Power. You can drop people in automations right from your phone, right from Gmail, send those shipments and build those relationships that create deals. If you have any questions or need any assistance, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.